Good evening, everyone. This is a great uh, sized crowd, and thank you for coming out uh, this evening and really taking uh, the initiative and being proactive on, on what we all know is really a key topic facing all of our communities, and that is disaster preparedness. I want to start by thanking the Marinwood Lions, uh, Elaine, uh, the CERT Steering Committee, uh, for doing so much for our communities behind the scenes. If you can join me in a round of applause. We know that disaster preparedness has been at the top of everyone's mind, and the issue was really put squarely uh, to our Board of Supervisors a while back by Fire Chief Jason Weber when he noted that we now live in virtually a year-round fire season. Uh, this is a, a, or at least one where there are significantly longer uh, fire seasons than in what was previously normal. We have been reminded of this fact repeatedly this year as major fires broke out throughout California. And Moran is certainly not immune uh, from this issue given our topography and vegetation. And the Board of Supervisors made the decision this year to actually ramp up our budget specifically toward uh, disaster preparedness. The effort starts with making sure that um, all the agencies that are relevant throughout the county are in sync, uh, that they're coordinated and uh, communicating with each other, that our communication systems are working and effective, and that we uh, have neighborhoods and individual residents that are engaged and also uh, coordinated with the whole system. Research shows that in the face of major climate events like fire and flooding, neighborhoods where people know each other and look out for each other have the lowest mortality rates and recover more quickly. We actually saw this firsthand in the aftermath of last October uh, with the Sonoma Strong effort and the Marin County response to our neighbors and colleagues to the north. The support we offered was not only the right thing to do, but also was done with local people, local businesses, and was done immediately. When we build community in good times, we are more resilient when disaster strikes. We build, and we, again, we build community by talking to each other and engaging. So um, I'm really proud to note that the groundwork has been laid for disaster preparedness with two neighborhood firewise communities right here uh, locally. Uh, Luke Valley Homeowners Association and the Mont Marin Centerfield Park neighborhoods have formed firewise communities this year. So what are the... I think that can really be a model for other uh, communities throughout our region. So what do we mean by that? Well, FireWise program involves local homeowners in taking individual responsibility for preparing their homes uh, from the risk of wildfire. The program provides resources to help homeowners and encourages neighbors to work together to take action and prevent losses. Insurance discounts may be available to FireWise organized communities as well as potential access to funding. In addition, last month I had the opportunity to actually take a first-hand tour of some of the activities that are going on locally here uh, in our neighborhoods. Part of this is I'm, I'm really getting up to speed myself and kind of a crash course um, in educating around these issues. So again, thank you to Marin County Fire Department officials, including Christy Neal and Chief Weber. Uh, Chief Gray of the Centerfell Fire Department uh, joined us. Parks and Open Space uh, was there as well. And Fire Safe Moran. Of course, many of you may have also seen that Dick Spotswood, the columnist, joined us and, and kind of uh, wrote up an article uh, on it. So again, all, all the different agencies um, working together. Uh, also, a huge shout out to Frank Cox, who's spearheading uh, the Mont Marin Firewise effort, and Kelby Jones from Lucas Valley. 
Our group toured Queenstone Drive nearby here and saw the collaboration firsthand. Uh, specifically, the TAM fire crew created a fuel break along the fire road and regarded the fire uh, and regraded the fire road after it was heavily damaged in previous winter storms. The Marinwood CSC and County Fire Department split the cost of the vegetation management product uh, project, excuse me, and the County Fire Department provided the personnel for regrading and Marinwood CSC paid for equipment. Uh, and the cost of the geologists, so great cooperation. Through the joint effort, the fire road was kept open. There are a few additional other local projects. 53 homes participated in a chipper day uh, through CSA 13 with over 100 tons of material removed. Marin County Parks and Open Space, CSA 13 and Rotary uh, Senior Village and Marinwood Fire Department collaborated on vegetation management on Mount Lassen Drive, which is one of three major escape routes for CSA 13. A 100-foot fuel break was done at the end of Valley Stone Drive, and two additional chip bids were held in Marinwood with over 30 homes participating. Uh, again, these are activities that are going around throughout the county in this coordinated way. Uh, so just a couple other things, I have a couple more minutes. Uh, the field surrounding Juvenile Hall. I've heard some specific issues around that. I'm seeing some nods in the crowd. Uh, so County Open Space met with Marinwood Fire, County Fire, and community members and walked through the mowing strategy with respect to the field. And if you have any questions on this, please uh, uh, follow up. Uh, so vegetation management requires that fields are not mowed during nesting season. So there's a habitat issue going on there as well. Uh, so basically we're balancing those needs. So another big uh, initiative right now, as you may have heard, uh, is that Santa Fe Fire Department is actually taking over management responsibilities for uh, Marinewood Fire. We give Fire Chief Roach a hearty uh, mm -hmm. farewell and best wishes in his retirement. He did a great job. I think we're actually going to have a really good leadership team coming in under uh, Chief Gray and uh, very much looking forward to that. So on, again, to uh, reiterate on the individual level, uh, I encourage you to learn what you can do at your home to maintain defensible space. Learn about your neighbors. Um, oftentimes, as we've seen in these disasters, the elderly resident next to us, uh, if we get to know them, we're in a better position uh, to offer help. Uh, I encourage you to also learn more about what we're calling Drawdown Marin. It's an environmental initiative we're very excited about. Uh, that is actually putting uh, our climate change initiatives into bold action. If you're interested in learning more and getting involved, please contact my office. And finally, uh, I encourage you in that vein to uh, feel free to uh, stop by the Civic Center anytime, um, sign up for my newsletters, uh, please follow me on Facebook or Twitter if that's something you do. Uh, and we kind of list our priorities um, uh, on our website um, and one key one again is what we need to do toward uh, being prepared for disaster. So thank you again, it's really a privilege to represent this area. Uh, I signed up for another four years by virtue of the election in June. <laughs> thank you. Uh, running unopposed was, was not too bad in this instance, but never take it for granted. So thank you again. David, you have 45 seconds if anybody has a question. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes, about the meadow in front of the juvenile hall. Yes. When is, it hasn't been cut in four or five years. And when is the nesting season for birds? 
I'm not aware of a specific answer to that. Um, I understand that, um, so, yeah, so Chief Gray, you wanna, okay, yeah. So it's it's in process in terms of uh, being figured out, so. So hopefully it will be part of that. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Um, another fire hazard that's particularly of interest to us as we live along it is our creek, and the creek path has become very overgrown. There's a ton of dead wood in there and trees going down. Um, how would we address that with the fire department and the CSD to make that a priority through these programs to get them cleared out? Absolutely, we can also follow up on that. I kind of made a note to myself though, that is not as simple as it may sound. Um, <laughs> to say the least, and get this to start out with, to actually clear vegetation in Miller Creek would require CEQA compliance. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, so this includes a weighing of fire risks in the environment. Uh, and again, I think FireWise is a, is a, a vehicle to kind of get into the proverbial weeds on that kind of issue, uh, no pun intended. Um, but again, I think that's something we can really uh, continue to work with you on. Can you explain what CEQA is? Thank you. Uh, California Environmental Quality Act. It's a state law that actually, any time you undertake as a government, a local government, a project that may impact the environment, it requires a detailed study and analysis on a variety of uh, efforts. <laughs> I know, I, I, I hear the frustration. That was any time you touch a creek, it's going to require some analysis. <laughs> so that puts all our houses that are in danger. at risk waiting for yeah. all There is so much kindling behind us, you can't even imagine. Absolutely. We need to get on it, and I'm, I'm seeing nods that, that we are. Um, Sue. Um, Yes. I did not hear that Marinwood does. It doesn't. So how do we go about having that? That's um, yes, or maybe someone else will address that. The challenge is most of the places that have these programs have 550 homes. We have 1,770. And it's very challenging to organize that. That having been said, follow, my time's out, follow up, we'll get you yeah. going. Yes, yeah, so one more question. Uh, I live, live on Cedarbury Lane for many years. Yes. And there's a home at the end of Cedarbury, it's on a cross street. But um, I know they've had some uh, disasters in the family. The husband was a probation officer and he took his life. And so, um, the family is still living there, uh, and the, the weeds are just growing up high, 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 uh, you know, and is anybody from Marinwood Community Center coming around to say you have to cut those down? So that's a great example. So you, you've noticed that now, oh, yeah. uh, as you should. Uh, reach out um, and let us know, and then we'll follow up. For you sure. just did. Okay, so that one is to the community center. You just did reach out. To the okay, department. yeah. Fire department. So this is oh. the this is the system at work. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Maggie, you're next. Yeah. Thank you.